Josh, uh, we know Florida is in a bit of a retooling mode right now, so let's talk about this squad. Yes, they get that final map win. We saw a lot more from this team, but they're rebuilding right now. So who do you rebuild around on the current lineup? Now, I think clearly the six-man core that they have at the moment, there's two players that you should be looking to build around, and that's Sire Player and BQB. And the, these guys just came into the roster recently. Uh, Sire Player was on it for you know the majority of last season, BQB, a more recent addition. You don't like Zephyr? They're, they're both very talented. <laughs> They're both very good players. Sire players, obviously, fantastically talented. A bunch of hit scan, hit scan stuff. McCree, Soldier 76, his Widowmaker, all fantastic. BQB plays a, a range of different things, but mostly known for his Sombra. You probably need to add another DPS player in okay. to make it a bit more well-rounded. They're not the most well-rounded DPS duo in the world. But when you look at their, their support line, eh, it's okay. You could do all right with Chris and Hagapion on like a low to mid-table team. Zephyr and Swan, though, that's the area that I would be looking at to, to make improvements for the Florida Mayhem. I think you've got to be looking at changing that time line. Pack lines drive teams. They're, they're kind of they're the backbone of the entire team. And if you have players that are either underperforming or aren't working well within the system or are making large errors, that's got to be your first choice, in my opinion. All right. Uh, real quick on the DPS player. You said they're retooling, trying to make an all-Korean team. So who are some of the DPS players that are maybe out there on the market you would like to see eventually land up in Florida? Ooh, that's an interesting question. There's a bunch of players in Contenders Korea, but I'm not 100% sure on which ones are actually of age at the moment, which ones would be 18 and... You gotta be able to buy Striker from the Shock, right? They're not using them. I mean, yeah, uh, you could try and trade as well, but I think it'll yeah. be more expensive financially for the Florida Mayhem to try and buy t uh, other Owl-level players. And instead, I think their scouting should try and go into Contenders' career because there's still a bunch of players there that are pretty decent, even though they don't have the experience.